Hey, it's Chips here. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I've done some tests uh, after, like, you know, I, I, I did a stream and it seems that my method has worked. So the problem was that I haven't been able to run Elden Ring on my laptop because of um, graphic driver issues. So if you are also having a uh, blue screen of death uh, like me, then um, maybe this might be is uh, one of the solutions that you can try um i've i've tried the other ones that are already available on youtube and i just wanted to add this one in to the bag so um there was one that was saying that you can change the power settings uh in the sleep and power and sleep settings to uh, in the additional power settings you go in and change it to balanced as recommended so that it doesn't overwork the graphics uh, uh, in a way. But I find that if I change it to the balanced, it, it will be very laggy and, you, and, and sometimes uh, the monsters won't show up. So you don't know what you're hitting or you don't know what is hitting you. So that's not great in uh, any of the Dark Souls franchise franchise play, um you know uh Elden Ring specifically so i changed my plans as i've got it i just called it the crazy mode uh, i changed plans here and i what did i do um oh wait i created a new power plan and i went for high performance and i you know give it a name or something and then I change all this to nether. I go create. The screen's really bright now. But I go into there and go change plan settings and go advanced power settings. And in here, I have changed the processor power management. So I think you might have tried this from another, another troubleshooting for um, blue screen of death. But... The um, what did I do? So in uh in the power management processor man uh oh my god I'm having a heart attack. Processor power management. You change the minimum and maximum processor rate. Instead of a hundred, you change it to ninety nine. Therefore, it doesn't go. Okay, I'm gonna change that to ninety nine as well. So it doesn't go full power and doesn't trigger, in theory, trigger the blue screen of death. So it doesn't trigger that, that limit and therefore it will crash the game, uh, crash the entire, entire PC, in my experience. So, um, yeah, so we click apply and then see how it goes. I think that's, that's all I did. That was the most effective and at the moment I'm, Having the latest update of Windows and the latest update on the graphic card uh, driver, which is NVIDIA 2060. So let me know in the comments if it works for you. If not, um, then uh, we, I guess we'll have to go back to the drawing board. But um, yeah, that's it. I hope this helps and have a good one.